there, everyone. Osage Orange here, and welcome to another episode of City Building Saturdays. We are here on episode number 182 of this series. Do appreciate everybody who has come out. I hope that your guys' time zone, whatever your guys' time zone is, is a wunderbar. We go ahead here and uh, quickly take care of stuff on Discord Landia. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I hope that your guys is, uh, like I said, I hope your guys' is time zone is doing wunderbar. So, um, on today's agenda, we are going to um, be um, continuing the initial commencement, of course, to the... Um, 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 the, 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 uh, life into the Mediterranean. There we go. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Had a momentary brain fart there. <laughs> is uh, trying to remember what in the bloody heck I was trying to say. So, um, so yeah, that's going to be on our agenda for today. And, um, the um of course we're going to continue our work doing all that nice jazz so um or at least that's uh that's the plan so um we'll see how far we can get of course so dust is good dust is very good I've been, uh, today I've been able to, um, actually get a lot of Minecraft stuff done. Um, um, getting a lot of mining done. I've done, um, um, and, um, got, uh, got, several a side gallery done uh this is off off the top of my head of course got a side gallery done on the main mine but i decided to head off over to the um copper mine and um do some mining over there get some more a little bit more copper and of course i found myself a bloody massive cave system and um, a ravine uh, as part of the um, stuff. So, um, I need that resume adventure. I know we need a couple heroes here. There we go. So, um, I know that. Um, so I've been able to get a bunch of copper and a bunch of other bunch of um, other things that I need too. So uh, let's see here. I know so Hercules Hall. We need that. Where's the other one? I thought I had two. No, oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, let's see. So we've got um, got some of the uh, fleece we need, but we also need some olive oil. Set up another. Set up, I'm gonna set up another Grand Agora right here, and we just need to wait for some olive oil to come in. Oh, jeez, twee. Okay. 
need to take care of our city health. So I'm going to move this thing to uh, Odysseus here. Instead, I am going to put in an infirmary right there. I may need to take out some of the housing here to slide in another infirmary, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So. I'd follow you. I'd follow you anywhere. Ah. I'd follow. Soon, my fuzzy little sheep will be completely bald. <laughs> I, I always love that. But, um, yeah, I managed to find a metric butt ton of stuff for, um, um, the smelter to be able to run through the smelter. So, let's see here. Food. Fleece. Oil. Let's see here, what I need to do, a thing I need to do, I should say, um, four, five, six, seven, eight, then, let's go ahead here. Pull up our science tab, set up a university, and an inventor's workshop. And to go ahead and move the maintenance post right there. Move that, replace it with a bibliotech. Put our what's it right there. Our lab right here. We'll make sure to let's actually do yeah, let's do it like that. Let's make sure we also put up a maintenance post. I thank the gods billions and billions of times for this city and its fine ruler. Excellent science. Well, we're going to have to move the Hades, uh, not Hades, Hercules. I don't know why I said Hades. Obviously decide to get tongue-tied. I'm going to need some wine. Let's see here. Can I fit an observatory? Gosh darn it. I think I'm gonna have to move the um, this guy over here. Let's go and at least get it set up so we can have that distribution. Yeah, understood, game. Understood. Yes, I want to decommission. Let's also set up some oil vendors over here. Let's go and set up the observatory right there. Also need a working hippodrome, too. Excuse me. Set marble. Well, at 
least we got some of those people employed before we had a metric butt ton of people show up. Let's see, uh, science. Astronomers, check. Scholars, oh, they need scholars. Stupid dude. Inventors, curators. This city is in a class all by itself. It is the finest ever. This city is great. What's your formula for success? Let's see here. Let's go ahead. I'll put that popular these two population monuments here to help boost up these guys a little bit. Let's see taxes. Oh, these guys don't aren't paying their taxes. Let's uh, call upon the Tetsum Maxims, shall we? Ah, shut up, dude. So we need a working hippodrome. We need jugs of olive oil and wine. Well, we're gonna need a metric butt ton of wine too. So let's see here. Um, Go and set up a one. Gates and Iwahe. I think that's how you say it. They sell fish and sculpture. Estonia sells uh, olive oil and black marble. Atlantis. Ooh, they sell wine. Good. Gates. Yeah. Let's see. Well, we need to get a hippodrome working here, so um, let's go ahead here. Take this over one here so we can start up. Uh, I want to make sure I get sort of the hippodrome done in this area. I'm gonna. Sorry, virtual botanical brethren. What is that far? Ah. Idiot infrastructure. Let's go ahead here, get back to work, back to work on what I was working on. Hippodrome. Don't tell me we can't put that there. Is there any way? Yeah. Maybe theoretical. Idiot infrastructure. You guys cannot seem to be fucking doing your job. Sorry. Sorry, I did not mean to F-bomb there. I did not mean to curse. I do what I can to keep my language clean. See here. 
There we go. I did not mean to curse. I'm sorry. Not, well, it's not the end of the world. Let's see. Oh, maybe. Come on. I'm sort of doing it the way I'm doing it so I can, uh, Less, ha less having to worry about co future commissioning, as you know. Yeah, we have to make uh, the turn here. Thank you, Gaties. It's probably, it's got to be all that wine we're getting. Let's go ahead here. Uh, let's stop buying wine for now. Oops. Come on, you bloody thing. Be a jerk like that, then. Let's see if I might be able to. Rats. I'm just hoping, I, I think, as I vaguely remember. Let's see here, maybe we might be able to get some additional spans here. Get rid of that guy. Rats. Just hoping I'll be able to get at least something more. I don't know. I'm. Number was, I am a perfectionist. Let's see here. Uh oh, somebody's sent, sent off boom booms. 
presumably for the holiday. Let's see here. I'm going to get rid of this area. See here. Basically, I am trying to max out our what's that stuff here. That's a smidge better. <clears throat> Except, come on. This is why you do, this is why you have to be careful about setting up your, when you want to get the maximum number of stra strides, whatever it's called here in a hippodrome. Oops. That's an oops. Let's see here. Where did all those? That'll help there. I'm just trying to figure out the max, best way to do this. Get the ma maximum number of what's it's here without uh, stuff interfering with one another. Just uh, so redo it. There are times where it's just better to. Start over again. So instead of starting here, we'll start here. Let's see here. Swing the map this way. Oh, one turn too many.
There we go. That's the right angle. Did I place it? No, oh, jeez, Louise tree. Undo un the undolt tree. Undolt. sure if I can get even somehow work my way into the corner here might just have to go ahead here and do this times where you know you got to be very very careful on how you place your stuff Adults. Jeez, I'm, I'm out of money? What the? We're not, we're not buying wine, so, uh. <sighs> Can't buy uh, more stuff. You know what? Let's go ahead here. Let's pull back up our save. We're going to really anti dum dum. That's why it's two blocks off, is, uh, need to put an Agora there, Department of Duh. There's a little bit of cost 
slash idiocy prevention. That's right, we need to start importing, uh, what's it? Olive oil. This time we're going to wait on um, importing wine. This away, move, move this over here. This city is more refreshing than any other city, and its leader is the most sparkling. Put up our bad boys like that. Just wash up. Museum, there we go. All right. Come on back over here. A slight little road right there. Just a sec, guys. Well, we're about to get more employees, games. So uh, don't uh, don't say that we don't got nothing when uh, we know, when I know that I got something down the puck coming down the puck. Let's go ahead here. Let's make sure we really try to clear that stuff here out. Let's bring a road down like that. There's that. Let's go ahead here. Um, let's go ahead here to our hippodrome. Let's go ahead and start here. done goof there. There's that. All right. Not 
sure if I'll be able to squeeze anything in over here. game. Let's see here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't see it. I have to get rid of that section right there. I don't think I can really get in there, but we'll see. Uh, let's see how far we can get. I think what I'll do... like we'll have to give up a few straw stands but uh thank you atlantis but if we can at least get a reasonably long one oops oops We'll have to give this part here up. That's all right. That's all right. So long as we get the darn thing built. That is what is important. Let's go ahead here. case it'll be just a smidge longer I wish I could get it to where I could you know pull this so pull the, these both over but um, obviously you know placement of things on the map I wonder let's do that take that gift of wheat Now, yeah, there's no way I can squeeze that in. Rats! Uh, like I said, guys, I just love having long, long hippodromes. There we go. Hopefully we could get one of the ones here on the these long ones where we got, uh, you know, the guy who you know, goes up and picks up the horse poop. Go ahead here. Now, I know the 
this city needs more workers. We're about to get more workers. Just using the um, stuff here to vent. Who am I, Odysseus? How much longer do I have to travel before I reach my destination? And where's Calypso? <laughs> yeah, shut up, dude. Can only get marbles so fast. If you want good quality marble. Yeah, shut up. Oh, did not mean to purely pause the game. Let's see here. Let's also set up uh, some bibliotechs. Oh, there we go. This is six to drop uh, per month. I don't see any of the poop collectors. That, that, that's always a, one of those, you know, funny little features that they added, so... Remember back in the um, on the disc version, I had that I um. I thank the gods billions and billions of times for this city and its fine ruler. Let's see here. Let's build the two heroes' halls. <laughs> So we need to make sure we stockpile some um, olive oil. Let's go ahead here and uh, have this guy. Let's go ahead and set up this guy here and make sure we set our guy here. To get. If it was the Hydra or Skill uh, that said, you know, our, uh, uh, our, what, whatever it is, you know, our thing is our gifts to you. Let's see here. Yeah. We're slowly making some money. The, um, it's the good thing that, uh, we get, uh, the money from the Hippodrome. It's just like modern, uh, sports venues, and, um, and obviously they had this idea back in the day where, um, and of course, it's used in modern times where, you know, you have people come in for whatever event and, um, 
the um, um, blub blub. The um, the people coming in, you know, they bring in revenue. Have you ever seen more solid buildings? Archimedes. Suffer my sting. I thank the gods billions and billions of times for this city and its fine ruler. Okay, so all I need are 32 and 4, uh, 16 and 32, so, um, who's it that sells it? Oh, duh. Let's, we'll call an Odysseus first. Right. That'll be enough for now. Let's go ahead here. We're going to page Odysseus. The world-renowned Odysseus, King of Ithaca, is here. Look at all the jobless people. <laughs> oh, well, I've done what I can for the moment. Holy frickin' hedge apples. Penelope will have to wait a long time before she sees me again. This city is so great. Right, let's see here. We're going to wait a little bit. Recover some of our funds. Let's just see a... I thank the gods billions and billions of times for this city and its fine ruler. Asteroids and fire meteors. What the frick? <laughs> stuff. You have done a wonderful job building this city. I'm sure the Elysian fields pale in comparison. One the straight. One the straight. Hercules isn't called the strongest man alive for nothing. 
With his bare hands, he single-handedly widened the channel between the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. The strait, which will forever be known as the Pillars of Hercules in honor of the hero, is still narrow, but it is now navigable. The crafty Odysseus also solved our Scylla problem, and the strait is safe. Now, all manner of ships can sail between Atlantis and the lands of the Mediterranean. It won't be long now until Phoenician goods flood Atlantean agoras. The Phoenicians have already made good use of the newly widened Pillars of Hercules. Now it's time to follow suit. The lands around the Mediterranean have been settled for a long time, and while the civilizations living there couldn't possibly be as advanced as Atlantean society, they probably still have plentiful goods to offer. An eager band of adventurers has consented to explore the area and forge relationships with the peoples that they meet. In the meantime, Lyxis should be built into a bustling city, both to support trade and to impress the foreign cultures that visit the Atlantean city. Alright, so we need Sanctuary and Guard, eight trading partners here, the profit 7500, 46 skeins of fleece for colony. Stand by, stand by. Oh, stuffing. Um. Idiot infrastructure. Um. Oh, see, I, 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 you see, this, this is why I just remembered. This guy, the olive oil here. here. Besides, I got should have plenty of people to spare. We'll just go ahead and save that for any future anti dum damages. Dum damaging. Put that there so that we don't have problems. I am a Hercules and I'm ready for a challenge. What have you got? <laughs> I always like that. Hercules isn't called. The Phoenicians have. Alright. So we had our things, so, uh. We know what's going on. Lexus 2. Boom. So let's see here. Tire sells wood and wine. The side on. But, oh, they buy marble. They buy marble. That'll be good. Carthage. They buy wine. They sell bronze and meat. That's right. Uh, who was it? Um, here we go. Uh, side on also buys armor. Estonia. We need them back up and running. Let's 
movie Atlantis. Here. Please. Olive oil. Let's see Atlantis. Sidon. Carthage. Boo-boos. Also gonna set up. Farms here. Oh, I guess I can put it like that. Make sure we got uh, the food we need will always be good. Right. Let's go ahead and start buying some bronze so we can evolve our housing. I am Poseidon. Worship me, and the sea will befriend you. Poseidon and Pillar of Atlas. We'll go ahead and set up the Pillar of Atlas. I forgot 
how big this thing is. It's easy at times to forget how big something is. We have to adjust our drone here. Gotta get a road in. Off I'll go to the sanctuary to display my refined craft. All right, here we go, guys, once again. Off I'll go, 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 off I'll go to the sanctuary to display my refined craft. Go ahead here, get a couple sculpture studios running. We'll put them in right over here. That's the way I'm thinking. Yay! Let's see, uh, let's go see Memphis. Sells wheat, buys fleece. Let's go ahead and make sure we open up that trade route. set up the uh, Sculpture Studios Depositation Station. Eureka! I found the best city and the most capable ruler. I also need another one. Did I set, I set one? Yes. I was, I was thinking to myself, did I set? Was I a complete dumb dumb and forget to set stuff up for uh, weapons? I think no, I didn't. This city is great! What's your formula for success? Knowing how the game is played, and of course, using uh, stuff to uh, get um, um, get the most out of things, you know? <laughs> 
Yes. Gotta go turn on the back, right? Let's go. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, hi, Poseidon. Ah. Okay, how many statues does this thing require? More sculptures. Stop uh, buying uh, bronze for the moment. We'll at least hold on to a spare sculpture. So, can I export sculpture? Let's see, sculpture available for import. No, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just easier to produce out of, uh, oh. don't you dare, don't you dare make that deposit. You're not welcome. There, of course, goes fun times with cartilage. Except uh, partial fleece. <laughs> Actually, let's see, we'll actually have this get armor. <laughs> well, we 
still waiting for other stuff to come in, so. I don't know what my assistants are complaining about. These parcels are feather light. Now I'm gonna need some more people, so um, let's see here. Argos just got a. Poseidon, I know you're there. Oh, let's make sure we put up a, a maintenance step for us. Timber! Do we have timber here? No, we only have the uh, marble department of dup. Mm -hmm. See, 3,000 people. So let's see here. Who do we have anybody who sells wood off the top of us? He's buying marble. Thebes buys marble. Tire Argos. Rival. Let's see who, if anybody. <sighs> Wood available for imports. Well, somebody sells it, obviously. See, Gades, Atlantis, Estonia, Iwahe. Carthage, Memphis, Tyre. Ah, oh, Tyre sells, um, oops, Tyre sells, what's it, timber or so.
stuff. So let's go ahead here. I need the strength of Hercules to haul this load back to the lodge. No stomach, Sherlock. Just once, I'd like the Agora to bring goods to me. This city is great! I don't. So the vendor was like, hurry up with those goods. And I was like, whatever. The vendor's such a dark. Go ahead here. I'm, not, I'm kind of just tempted to open up some more um, carding sheds here. I just love it when the guy goes, Soon, my fuzzy little sheep will be completely bald. You'll be thrilled when you see what I have to trade with you. Guess what? I'll get you some left on the old. Um, stuff going here. Increase 
the desirability. Military on the wall, so that's how uh, we can sort of focus our weapons. <laughs> it one go ahead here and set this up for one I percent greetings you will be thrilled when you see what I have to trade with you Greetings! You will be thrilled when you see what I have to trade with you. This city is in a class all by itself. It is the finest ever! Excuse me. But I felt good. <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me again. I need the strength of Hercules to haul this load back to the lodge. I sort of love the little elephant that they got there pulling the cargo of stuff, so let's see. Nothing is more beautiful to me than a large pile of construction materials. In some ways, I know exactly where he's coming from. Let's go ahead here. I'm going to get rid of these guys. Especially with the import costs. But um, now that we've got construction done, we can hopefully stave off some of the uh, further services A and B now that we can get some extra stuff here. Yes, yeah, Poseidon, I know. I know. Let's see if that might 
be desirable enough to get any kind of Who's next? Oh, it is. Too bad. Ha 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 ha. This city is great! What's your formula for success? And, uh, taxes in, so that'll help, uh, and with less, hopefully with a little less construction, we can hopefully defray some of that cost. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's quickly going to go use a little trees room. I'm going to put the game in slow mode, so BRB. Edition. And so, you know, I hadn't seen the movie in years. And so, getting to see it again, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, romance and disaster play, of course. So, anyway, one of the, um, I was able to get uh, watching um, some of the, um, the, behind, the, the, the behind the scenes. Uh, stuff and uh, one of the things I had always noted in the film was the um, part where you know the ship's stern is you know high up in the air and uh, you know you start to see you know like you know the, the hull all the stress on the hull has finally reached the tipping point where it can't support itself and so the ship splits in half of course and uh, The, um, uh, Spencer Lovejoy, you know, Cal Hockley's, um, ballet slash bodyguard slash enforcer, as you know, is holding on to the, uh, railing there, you know, starts splitting, you know, right underneath his hand, and he starts going, what? And I always like to call him at that point, the buckler. Younger team came up with that. And so anyway, you know, at that scene I'd seen the blood on it. You know, and younger tree obviously, you know, put you know, had said, you know, he did he obviously didn't know all of it, but he figured that uh, you know, something had to of course cause um 
received uh, the bloodied all up and tree, younger tree, I thought. You know, obviously with the chaos at this point in the ship, you know, it obviously gotten into some sort of fight. Before being able to either, you know, escape her off or uh, something else, whatever would happen. Turns out one of the deleted scenes for the movie, um, the part in the movie where, um, you know, Rose had gotten in the lifeboat, she looks in, you know, the lifeboat's going down, she looks up at Jack, it's like, hey, you got da 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 sort of thing, you know. And she gets the scampers back on board, the two meet in the grand staircase, I think it's on. Ah, uh, Poseidon. Um, I think it's on A deck, not the boat deck. Or is it B deck? And I think it's B deck that they reunite on. Because it's not. Yeah, that would it would have been on B deck, not A deck. Anyway, um, you know, of course, Cal and Lovejoy. Uh, they um, they're looking at him from on top of the boat deck. Um, yeah, maybe it is that they are on a deck. But uh, anyway, they, um, you know, he, um, he, you know, he pulls out Lovejoy's pistol and, you know, is, you know, pursuing him and, you know, he's angry and all. And um, then, you know, he loses um, as um, Jack and Rose escape up uh, the, um, the dining saloon. Um, um, you know, he's like, oh, I hope you enjoy your time together! You know, all angry and all that. And then, you know, he realizes, you know, that he, he the, the, the heart of the ocean in his the jacket he had on over his, uh, over his formal wear is, is in, is now on Rose. So, and then he says, uh, of course, before, um, in the theatrical cut, um, you know, cuts before he said, you know, he sends off Lovejoy to pursue him, further pursue him while he scampers back up Thompson. And so, Lovejoy, Jack, and Rose have a little bit of a confrontation, and Jack, you know, puts his head, as part of the initial part of the fight, puts his head, puts Lovejoy's head through some glass, then the dining sword, and that's how he got the cut. He's like, oh, I didn't know that. So Younger Tree's assessment of the situation turned out to be right, he just didn't know the particular details. It's one of those nice things, you know, tree you learn, you know? Let's see here. Alright, so last year... Let's see here. Also raise wages. Let's see, uh, let's see here. Who am I, Odysseus? How much longer do I have to travel before? Who am I, Odysseus? How much longer do I have to travel before I reach my destination? And where's Calypso? Well, wine's kind of expensive for me to import right now, dude. Oh, yeah. Well, I can actually replace that with a happiness monument. Excuse me. Go and get that.
I made the thing, so... Yep. Let's go ahead here. Yay. Let's go ahead and get our... Go ahead and stop buying some wine. Let's go and just open that up to the max. Great things are in store <laughs> for you, little sheep. <sighs> Trust that, me. That always amuses me. It's hungry, hungry hippos. Always oh. amuses me. <laughs> Eureka! I found the best city and the most capable ruler. So let's go ahead and disengage the stockpile. Set to B. The Mediterranean explorations were quite fruitful indeed. Goods flow easily between the Mediterranean nations and Atlantis, and profits in Lyxis are way up. As expected, the cultures encountered couldn't hold a candle to the Atlanteans. The Egyptians are much like the Mayans were hundreds of years ago, primitive and in desperate need of Atlantean beneficence. The Greeks, on the other hand, are an entirely different ball of wax. They are by far the most haughty civilization, if you can even use that term when referring to them, that we have ever met. After displaying our superior knowledge and showing them our excellent Atlantean goods, the Greeks ordered us off their land, while making threatening motions with their spears. It's so sad when an entire culture is too insecure to realize that a superior people can only help them. Meanwhile, the Phoenicians have taken great advantage of the widening of the Pillars of Hercules. They have crisscrossed the Atlantic, even trading with our Mayans directly. We're certainly glad that Atlantis can be of such a great help to those money-centered Phoenicians. Now that we know what is out there in the Mediterranean, it is time to establish an Atlantean colony further to the east to increase profits from trade. All right, we have, of course, Syracuse and Saqqara. Syracuse. Okay, on borders of the Greek territory, this site may give inroad. Give Atlanteans inroads to Greece, Saqqara, land of fertile, uh, land of fertile riverbanks, surrounded by desert, uh, amongst a people that would benefit from our knowledge. Let's go ahead and do Syracuse first. <clears throat> Excuse me. If a child refuses to take a spoonful of honey, then only the child suffers. If a man refuses a generous gift of jewels from a loyal friend, then only the man suffers. The Greeks have refused the sweetness and richness of Atlantean life, and only the Greeks suffer. 
There is a limit to Atlantean patience. We've extended our friendship and our help to the Greeks time and again, and time and again they have refused. So be it. It makes no difference to us. Still, the Atlantean desire to help is strong. A city will be built here in Syracuse, on the outskirts of Greek territory. Perhaps if the Greeks see for themselves the greatness of Atlantean culture, they will mend their ways and join us. But, judging by what we know of the Greeks so far, that is unlikely. Alas, it is not in the Atlantean nature to give up easily, so try we must. Alright, so what we need is a quarter of two frigates, uh, 150 people in mansion or better, and 64 bronze for current city. So let's go ahead here, pause. Oh yeah, I remember this one. I remember this one! Yay for tree memory in my canopy! <laughs> Alright, so... Let's see here. I know we got copper. Tim uh, foundry, uh, yeah, timber mill as well. Probably just go ahead and keep this area, this forested area up here as much as I can. to um, help out. We'll also get some copper in over there, too. Let's probably keep this area up here, too. Um, so. Go ahead here. Let's go ahead and prepare this area. We at least got a fair amount of uh, coin to help us start out, which is always good. City Palace. There we go. Let's see here. Put to clear that little bit out to make sure I can't perhaps. Yeah. Well, that's gonna have to be the place. So. Here. Well, that's gonna have to be what's gonna be. I couldn't remember um, what all that was worth, so. Is that? Nice little big block here for us to be able to get uh, stuff going. Observatory right there. Ugh. Goody goody gumdrops. Double goody goody gumdrops. 60. 60. As I, do, as I remember, I want a lot of people. As I try to remember, I want a lot of things. We'll go ahead and put this.
let's go ahead and get the game going here. I know I need employees. Apartment of the game. Let's see, let's get some food here. Um, that's right, we need to import food. I'm gonna make sure I give myself some, uh, an access road there. Access road there, too. Cerberus in the city, Heracle Hercules Hall, where's... Ah! <laughs> rough, rough, rough yourself there, big bad doggy. All right, I'm quickly taking a look to see here at the time. Uh, it's time for us to go ahead and take our first break. So yeah, guys, go and stay up, stretch, go get something to eat, go get something to drink, use the restroom, and I will see y'all here in a few minutes.
Okay, guys, tree is back. So let's go ahead here. If everybody be standing to stretch and you want to get your arms and your legs moving. Want to get your blood flowing. Flowing blood is always good. It's good for your cardiovascular system, good for your heart. In my case, I'm going to get my limbs and my roots moving. Moving limbs and roots is always a good thing for a tree. It's good for my uh, cardiovascular system to get my sap flowing. Good for my heart wood. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, as soon as we get done stretching, I, of course, I'm going to have a little uh, tree snack. Something to eat. But, um... I will, of course, be playing the game. Just want to kind of get some of our people uh, here into town foist. So is that we got uh, uh, people coming in. Always a good thing. All right. I'll have to tell you guys, um, once I'm done eating my tree snack, um, some of the books I got on my uh, trip to visit uh, Creative Aunt and all that, so. <clears throat> well, as I got my one liter water bottle right here, I almost forgot to grab it at the end of breaks there. So uh, let's go ahead and get a quick drink of water. There we go. So yeah, it's, um, I'm going to be building up the city, but of course I'm going to be eating, having my little tree snacks, so vocally BRB.
Have you ever seen more solid buildings? Archimedes would be proud. I can't wait to pick out the finest food for my customers. I wouldn't want them to go hungry. This city is in the best shape, and you look marvelous, too.
Have you ever seen more solid buildings? Archimedes would be proud. This city is more refreshing than any other city, and its leader is the most sparkling.
has finally got done the tree snap. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Right here and, uh, do my stuff. Go ahead here. Set up some tax gas. Let's go and save. So for uh, to get Hercules in, we're gonna need so uh, he's gonna need more culture access. Hippodrome. Hippodrome shouldn't be too too hard. All we need is a, all we would in theory need is a small one. So, um, let's go ahead here and over to our government. Here. Right. Just hoping I'll be able to squeeze one in right here, but it doesn't look like it. Excuse me. That was dumb dumb. Right. So it's probably be safer if we do this part like that anyway. Come on. Let's see here. Um, we need a horse wrench. Right like that. What is it you wanted, Mrs. Pericles? Ah, yes, here you go. Word is that your city is about to be attacked. Oh, that's right. We need to um, disengage from the stockpile. This guy pump out uh, stuff.
guess what, dude? I'm not gonna comply with your request. Because you're a stupid Greek. And in this case, stupid Greek, stupid ignorant Greeks don't get, don't get their stuff. Yeah, stupid and ignorant Greeks don't get their stuff. I'm going to go ahead and clear out this area here. So I'm going to go ahead here and do, make this a uh, supplier one. As soon as the, um, we get all the Hippodrome stuff here going around, um, we'll decommission the, um, what's it right there? The, um, horse ranch. But in the meantime, I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to lay the foundations for, uh, our what's it here, our uh, well-to-do area. Let's see here, I want to include things right there, so. Let's see, fight to defend the city. One, two, three, four. Do that like there. Go ahead here quickly, uh, save our adventure. Let's see where the uh, enemy forces land. Foolish enemy! Did you think that women cannot show courage? Foolish enemy, did you think that women cannot show courage? Foolish enemy, did you think that women? Foolish enemy, did you think that women cannot show courage? Guess what? We are now uh, minions to a baddie bad. So let's go ahead here. I 
need to do is get our uh, forces concentrated a little bit more here up the coast. As, as per usual preferred tactics. Get those units moving there a little faster. We're going to try to see if we can't get to uh, very high. Oh, did I get to this one? like uh, we're able to drive them off so fountain tech <coughs> excuse me And down our forces. Let's go ahead here and set up our fleece vendors. stuff here going. Oh, that's right. Duh. So, let's go ahead here. We need to make sure that we get um, our um, stuff going. So, let's go ahead here. 
Uh, wrong thing about that, Twee. Establish one of uh, licks this guy right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go ahead here. Herodotus is sure to record this city as the best and you as its greatest ruler. Taking a shine to this city. Pickaxe, check. Bag, check. Well, I'm ready to mine. I love that. <laughs> it's one of these, you know, simple little lines, you know, that can be quite, uh, quite encouraging, you know. So, while well, we're kind of waiting here. What I'm going to do is quite literally make, uh, let's see, um, is this? One, two, three, four. And here we'll put up a Grand Agora. I can do. Essentially, make a shortcut. Let's see here. There's how many? Uh Mansion or better. I couldn't remember how uh, many uh, things I needed. All right, and then well, shut up, Argos. You rich Jack. that there. Lab here. Essentially making um, the uh, the guys for here at least, um, you know, the museum, the observatory, and the lab. Gonna make them, essentially make them destination walkers. All right, we got olives, so let's go ahead here. Let's go ahead and start up our olive oil industry. Put 
map. Whoa, excuse me. Stupid guys not doing their freaking jobs is what that is. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to need some more workers, but um, at least we've gotten a start. Herodotus is sure to record this city as the best and you as its greatest ruler. Let's see if we can't free up at least a few workers by doing something like that. This city is in a class all by itself. It is the finest ever. Then I'll probably put up um, a secondary what's this right here. Oh, that's a smart idea. Tree just decided to use his brain blades. Locking that off will help make sure that the uh, distributor uh, will go where I want him to go. Or help ensure, I should say. Let's go ahead here. Oh, jeez. Um, what good is the bibliotech if he is blocked off? So, so ooh. oh, shut up, Lexus. You're the parent city anyway, you shouldn't give a darn. Let's see here. All of my customers will love this olive oil. Yay, happiness monument. All right. Make sure we set up a bibliotech. And then... Um, let's go here to, um, do that. There's all for Heracles. This, I shouldn't be too worried about this guy collapsing, but just as no CD test. Safety measure sort of thing. We'll do that. Oh. Better yet. Just realized I was kind of kind of done goofing here. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Inventor's workshop. I mean, Inventor's lab. Da -da -da -da. <clears throat> Excuse me. This city is great. What's your formula for success? As I've said before, I'll say it again. Knowing how to do my stuff. 
Knowing how to do my stuff. Knowing how to do my stuff. Alright, let's start selling some olive oil too. Sculpture, another olive oil sale location. I need a PO increase, eh? Stone circles deploy. short yep we are but we could fix this problem by simply boop 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 and also need to do ourselves a favor I know it's going to be too far, but that might just move this into range, if barely. Yep. More olive oil coming right up. Oh, some wine. Think of it is, do folks want cheese with their wine? Because I'm afraid we can't have a... We don't have any goat cheese, I'm afraid. Let's see here. Atlantis. Gades. See, this is why I made sure to leave some access so we could come through. Alright. Starting putting more fleece. Selling some more olive oil. We're gonna need the wine. Make sure we set up a maintenance post. Boom. Wine center. Wine. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Still short workers, but we're getting more up. So let's go ahead here. Let's see here. I'm going to put in. Ooh, that's an idea. I'm going out to, uh, to buy more wine. My customers really uh, uh, drank up quickly. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. My cart is too light. It's time to load it up again with more goods. Let's see here. What else? Uh, let's see. There, there we go. I was like, I know there's a 
way over here somewhere. Tree, uh, tree brain was going. Side on. Tire. There we go. Glad it just barely fits in there. Make sure that we've got a maintenance post for those guys. Let's go and connect the road right here. Turn on our an overlay to be able to see what the what is the laser it is I'm doing. But uh, we can uh, fix that. I'm going to cut in half my production here of sculpture. And I'm going to replace all that there. Should we set to stockpile? Don't need to buy olive oil. Can I export for oh good good good. Another source of one another source of one. How we're doing on workers. Still some unemployment, eh? Let's go ahead here. And, um, nope, oh, not olive tree. I wanted Grower's Lodge. Get those guys going. Let's go ahead here. We're going to get some more olive presses going. Let me go ahead and move the roadblock from. Essentially move it from one spot to another. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get this stuff get started. Ha, we are now worthy of Heracles' presence, or Hercules. Which will allow us to now be able to get our real industry set up in here for our uh, bronze industry. I am a Hercules, and I'm ready for a challenge. What have you got? I was like that. <laughs> yeah. Sec, guys, I gotta quickly use the little tree zoom BRB.
Okay, sorry about that, guys. But um, um, I was going to tell you about um, uh, one of the things uh, I found on um, my adventure going uh, earlier this week and seeing uh, Creative Ant whilst on vacation. And um, part of what I did is I went to... Uh, it was a day where she and partner in art had to go and uh, go to work. So um, on one of the days I had to visit, it was actually uh, Wednesday, the middle day. So I was like, don't worry, I can figure this out. Um, you know, uh, I'll, we can figure this out. I said, oh, no, I said, ah, da, da, da. <laughs> so anyway. Um, so... Um, they went ahead on, on Wednesday. They went, they went ahead and went out to work. And, um... The, um... Um... You know, I stayed, I stayed for a little bit at the house. So, um... You know, played some games. Did a little bit of Minecraft. Did some, uh... Pharaoh and all that. And, uh, after a little bit, after a couple hours, I said, oh, it's time to go in and do some adventuring. So, I went ahead and got myself all put together, you know, for a trip. You know, made sure everything was... They they got they own a couple of doges, so I made sure to let them out to the little doges room to um, make sure that they didn't know, you know, piss up the house or anything like that. Piss or poop up the house. And once they were done... Um, I uh, got myself uh, into uh, the vehicle I took to, to uh, down to see them. And um, first stop I made was where they worked. And um, the uh, creative aunt showed me around. So, you know, here, here's all this, here's all that. Yada, 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 yada. And... Um, they, uh, they work at an interesting place. I'm not going to disc out of um, out of um, what's the word I'm looking for? Out of courtesy, out of courtesy, I'm not going to discuss where they work. Um, but um, after that, um, I went ahead and um, um. Decided to go uh, touring around their town, as I said, and one of the stops I made was at a local bookstore. I actually made a visit to several bookstores, local bookstores. And at one of the places, uh, I picked up a book because it looked interesting. Um, let me see here. Um, I, I actually went and visited the guy's website. Let's see here. See, here is the link to his website. The author is J. A. Pitts, and um, the book that I picked up. Um, is called Black Blade Blues. Um, the description here on the front cover reads, a hip urban take on dragons and dwarves and add to that a sexy smith, blacksmith in Doc Martens. It's about time we had a fantasy heroine like Sarah Bayo Hall. And here's the, um, here is the, um, back cover, uh, description. Blacksmith Sarah Bauhall loves her work, but is less enthusiastic about her night job as a props manager on low-budget films. Her favorite, when her favorite sword is broken on set, she reluctantly agrees to reforge the blade to avoid reshooting scenes. But one of the extras, who claims to be an actual dwarf, shows up at her forge and offers to help Sarah with her destiny. 
That's when things start to get weird. Could the sword be really magic as he claims? Are dragons really living among us as shapeshifters? She refuses to believe. Then one of the dragons makes its move. Suddenly, what was unthinkable becomes all too real. And Sarah will have to decide if she can reject what is safe and become the heroine that is needed to save her world. So, um... You know, uh... It's like, oh my god, that sound That is... is somebody who wants, uh... You know, uh, who likes a good fantasy. I was like, ah, you know, it, it's got a little bit of mythology here. I think I'll go ahead and uh, love mythology. So, you know, that sort of thing is um, literally right up my alley. So in terms of what stuff I want to read. So I decided I'll go ahead here. Yeah, is. You've done something someone doesn't like very much. We did it. We's done it. So, now that that's a thing, let's see. Several slain. Huzzah. Uh, so we also need to do the timber thing. Now let's go ahead here. Set up the storehouse right here. So yeah, that is one of the... Uh, books that I picked up on my adventures and uh, I decided that it would be a good idea to uh, see uh, I haven't started reading yet reading it yet um, the current let's see here just a second The current um, author I'm reading is, I uh, just posted the link there, is Elizabeth Moon. Um, and uh, the, um, the book series that I'm currently reading by her is um, called... The Serrano Legacy, otherwise known as uh, the Familia's Regent Universe. And basically, uh, what's going on is um, the, uh, there's change going on. Basically, humanity's got itself into space. It follows uh, two main protagonists, uh, Harris Serrano and Esme Sumizia. And uh, these two uh, upstanding women, who happen to be military officers in the, familiar, in the regular space service, the RSS. Show, shows their adventures uh, doing with all the stuff that they have to do there. So, um, I will uh, have to get the Familia's Regent Universe done before I read uh, Black Blade Blues. And when I did my research on this book, I pulled up the uh, J.A. Pitt's website. Turns out I inadvertently got the first book in a series. <laughs> and when I found that out, I was like, oh my god, what have I done? Because at first, you know, it looks like it's, you know, like one of these one-off sorts of books. But, um, turns out, you know, it's a book series. It's a book series. Alright, so... Let's go ahead here 
And we need to come on over here to uh, this stuff over here. Clear that, clear that road up just a smidge. Uh, whoa, excuse me. So, let's go ahead here. I know if they need road access. The thing of it is, I need to first lay in the stuff I want to put in game. One step at a time. If I do it like that, we can actually get more foundries in. Let's go ahead here. I'm going to put up a. Oops, don't want to forget that. Almost done goof there, guys. Almost done goof. means we could take these guys here out of service. That'll help reduce the amount of uh, employees I don't need. This stuff. But we do need some more people, so what we'll do. Um, we'll go ahead and put some peeps up here onto this bluff area. Let's see here. We got them there. I guess that's where I'm going to slide the road through. Uh, 
gets a housing in. Understood game, understood. Set up our first bunch of armories. Go ahead here and do something like that. Go back there. Structure. Oh wait, did I? Yes, oh, I, I did. Duh. Infrastructure not doing their fucking jobs. Fucking jerks. You know, kind of makes me wonder, you know, if Atlantis had, you know, it's, um, you know, it's uh, a lot of these days, you know, uh, uh, the story of Atlantis is often <coughs> these days, um, you know, uh, a cautionary tale about man's humanness. and, uh, Idiot infrastructure. And, and all that sort of jazz. You know, um, part of me wouldn't have to want to wonder if the Atlanteans ever had, if they, if they had been real, would they have had their own version of the Titan? their own version of the Titanic. Oh, 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 was I, uh... oh. yeah. This city is more refreshing than any other city, and its leader is the most sparkling. Go ahead here. Need 
to be talking to more scientists, so that will no doubt help. Hephaestus couldn't make better armor than this. I hope it sees some action soon. The only room for these good Have you ever seen more solid buildings? Archimedes would be proud. Alright, let's go ahead here. Let's finish setting this other guy here up. Well... Who am I? Who am I? Get your genuine faced quality Agora approved goods here. No imitations. <laughs> Dude, look at the size of this basket. So the vendor was like, hurry up with those goods. And I was like, whatever. The vendor's such a dork. Dude, look at the size of this basket. So freaking funny. Then, ooh, Let's see here. Um, university. I'm going out to find the finest Corinthian helmets, not to mention hoplons, greaves, and cuirasses. Yeah, shut up, Argos. Set up some more industry, so let's go ahead and do that. Not all of this, I want sculpture studios. This city is great! What's your formula for success? Eureka! I found the best city and the most capable ruler. How <laughs> oh, fortunate Lexus is that I have a nice high capacity for that sort of stuff.
Alright, I need more science. All the science! Okay, next! Guys, will that? How much of an effect will that have? several guys that I got left that I could set up. Thieves. About ten active peers. So let's see. What you think I want you to do? Yeah. Well, this is great. All right. All right. We need to. Um... We need to get stuff going here, guys. Twi has, of course, been overly ambitious. Since, since when is Twi not ambitious? Wait. If I can just make it work, might just be able to make things happen just the way I want. <clears throat> Excuse Supported. Save. Save thing. Let's go ahead here. Let's dispatch. And we'll go forth. Horrors. 
Who would have thought that all the old stories about the ancient times in Atlantis were completely true? We have seen centaurs, and they are every bit as ugly as legend describes. The barbarians attacked us, but we dispatched them easily enough. In fact, at the sight of the Atlantean emblem on our armor, they began cowering in fear. They didn't bother us too much again. Some of the softer Atlanteans among us felt sorry for the centaurs, and declared that they would right a past wrong. Envoy after envoy went to centaur territory to propose peace, but none ever came back. What else can we do? The Greeks are still resisting us, and are none too happy that we are near their land. As our immortal first king Atlas would have said, like it or lump it. Enough is enough! The Phoenicians have taken complete advantage of us, usurping our trade relationships with the Mayans and even disrupting trade on Atlantis. They have cut us almost completely out of the trade equation, which is unfathomable, given that we were the ones that opened up the Pillars of Hercules in the first place. If the Phoenicians refuse to honor our centuries-long relationships with the Mayans, then we must do what we can to defend ourselves from this Phoenician threat to our continued prosperity. We have already taken the step of charging a toll for passing through the Pillars of Hercules, and some Phoenicians have quite rationally agreed to pay us. But the city of Carthage flouts our authority and, in addition to refusing to pay the toll, has taken to piracy. They have boarded our ships and stolen our goods. If the pirates of Carthage continue to disrupt trade, it won't be long until Atlanteans everywhere are without the basic goods they need to survive. We spoke to the more reasonable Phoenicians about their rebellious countrymen, but they have refused to intervene. Though we Atlanteans are a peaceful people, we will not brook a threat to our homeland. We will teach Carthaginians that we Atlanteans are to be respected and obeyed. It is for their own good and the good of Atlantis. Ares has heard of our plight. Knowing that we are not as skilled in the ways of war as some other more barbaric cultures are, the god has agreed to help us put Carthage in its proper place, provided we show him the respect that he deserves. All right, so we need two frigates, a shrine, and sanctuary terries. Need to rule Carthage and 64 skeins of place for colony. All right, so we're doing the colony monument. So let's go ahead here and save this as Lixus 3. Nope. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Excuse me. Uh, our save just literally saved our arse. I bet Mount Olympus isn't as nice as this city. First here on this. So we need first gonna need some black marble, sculpture, and some more calc. Unfortunately we have a thing, so uh let's see. Go ahead here. Let's let's 
start getting some wine into town. Or some more wine, I should say. I'd love to help you with your construction project. Syracuse, Nosa, Skates, Iwaha. Yay! That was easy. here out so is that uh runs. gonna make some marble exports too some more sculpture too Sculpture tools. Let's go ahead here. Oh, boy. down this observatory. This city is more refreshing than any other city, and its leader is the most sparkling. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, it's so fun to see some of this stuff happen. Thank you. 
are times where I wish I had more time to do stuff. Um, hi, Demeter! But, um... I see what's going on. Save it! Save it! Thank you! My cart is too light. It's time to load it up again with more goods. Eureka! I found the best city and the most capable ruler. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Part of me really wishes I had more time to work this out. Museums and stuff like that. Museums, art galleries. Unfortunately, um, you know, um, it's a case of I always can't have that happen. I was like the little animation where the, uh, the inventor, you know, he's going to the lab and he goes to the lab and, you know, he gets, he gets surprised as it happens, you know? to get done. Eureka! I found the best city and the most capable ruler. to help you with your construction. need to start selling some of that stuff. The only room for these goods in the city is right here in my cart. Side the skeins of fleece. Let's go ahead here and get these two. Um, what's its uh, frigates up and running? I know I don't have the. Technically, I don't have the people, but uh, I need them. Ranch. Hello. Yeah. 
Help us out a nice bit. Oh, we get rid of this uh, guy right there. That'll be another uh, cutting uh, employee cutting measure. Come along, my fire-breathing friend! Maybe we can find something for you to attack. I could be making, you know, like the 50k and drop nose we got right now. I, I wish, part of me really wishes I could have that on a, even just a daily basis. <clears throat> These, uh, heck, I'd even take it on a monthly basis. But alas, alas, it is not to be. Or at least, um, the way things are, it is not to be. Here soon, but uh, let's see. Let's put some of these requirements again. All right. All we got to do is wait for the second uh, frigate here to get um, built, and then what all we'll have to do is uh, go conquer Carthage. There we go. Let's go ahead here. Let's save. Go ahead here. Rule Carthage. Enlist all. Let us go and attack. So cool to see those guys. Excuse me, I get underway. Guess what? Don't have to worry about that much, I think. Carthage has now fallen in line, like the rest of the Phoenicians. Now all Phoenician traders are respectfully paying the toll, understanding that what is good for Atlantis is good for everyone. Just in case any Phoenician has any question about the toll, one of our many frigates out on the waters is sure to answer it for him. The Oceanids, however, are refusing to pay the toll and have ceased trading with us. The Oceanids have always been a little odd, and we won't miss their goods. 
A second colony along the Mediterranean will cement our position with these new found cultures. Uh, okay, uh, we'll go ahead here, guys, take our second break. So, yeah, guys, go ahead and stand up, stretch, get something to eat, get something to drink, get to the restroom. I'll see y'all here in a few minutes.
Okay, guys, she is back. I just realized that my my uh, blue mic was still <laughs> muted, but uh, I still had what's it is. So um, we're going to go ahead here and get started here on Sakara. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, do stuff. So The Egyptians seem to be a fairly bright people, but they desperately need our help. On Atlantis, we dedicate ourselves to the surety of science. In Egypt, the people give themselves up to the vagaries of a river. Their entire lives depend on the flooding of the Nile, and if it doesn't flood exactly as anticipated, the Egyptians are lost. Granted, the Egyptians have not had many problems producing massive amounts of wheat thus far, but it will only be a matter of time before the flood fails and the Egyptian people starve. To lift the Egyptians out of their primitive state, we must show them the glory of Atlantean culture. A city at Saqqara that showcases the best of Atlantean architecture will greatly impress the simple Egyptians. Once we capture their attention, we will have no trouble instructing them on the proper way to live. Alright, uh, so we need a uh, modest pyramid, great pyramid, pyramid of the Pantheon, produce uh, 64 sheaths of wheat and one yoke. 64 slabs of marble. That's it. Alright. Let's go here to turn on the What's It tab. Let's go ahead here and hit Save Adventure. Alright. So, uh, as I remember, the Sphinx is going to show up. She'll be uh, wandering around, as I remember, in this area. Some marble over here. Yeah, we're going to have plenty of room for people, so um, let's go ahead here. Set up our road like that so we can at least have a... Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and make sure we're on super slow mode. We will discombobulate the road thusly. And uh, let's go ahead here. I don't think I don't think we can do trees. Yeah, we can't do trees. I thought I remembered that part right. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead here and uh, clear some of that stuff there out. Let's go ahead here. Hmm. That'll do. Sphinx's riddle out of my head, guys. I can't be. I said head, meaning can't be. Silly tween. Let's go ahead here and make a third block. There we go. 
Atalanta's Hall. Let's go ahead here. Set up some Agoras. Laboratory. Let's see, I know for Atalanta's Hall. Let's see, let's go right here. Nice soldiers, that's what I, th Artemis. I was like, I think I need a thing to Artemis. It's like, oh, tree is wet. So, we're going to have to worry about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. One step at a time. One step at a time. Also, a working museum. But that's not, that's not going to be too, too hard. Too, so. All right, let's see here. <sighs> right here. Boop, boop. Okay, come on. Make sure to put a roadblock there too. Don't want to be a dum-dum. Want to lessen the amount of dumb damage I have to deal with. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Smarter tree can be is always, always a better, better thing. I was talking earlier about the, um, the, um, blub blub, the, um, you know, wishing I had enough money, you know, getting the, Fifty one thousand dollars or drachmas in this case uh, per year. You know, I, I would love to have that sort of thing. I, oop, I mean, fifty one thousand drachmas a month. I'd love to have that. Um, technically, if I had, if I did the right investments, I know I've talked about this sort of thing before. Um. Um, but, um, if I, if I did the right sorts of investments, I could probably get it to where, um, you know, I wouldn't need, you know, like $3 million to, uh, have, you know, like say, um, say 40 to 50 K per year in dividends. That's if I chose the right investments, of course. What walks on four legs in the morning, two legs at noon, three legs at dusk, 
and screams in abject terror now. I'm so hungry. Forget the buildings. I'm about to collapse. Uh, yeah. If I had the, uh... If I had the right investments, I could, um... You know, make about, uh... All I would probably need is about 40 to 50 K per year, you know, if I took, say, was able to get, say, a million dollars, make the right investments and get, say, 40 to 50 K per year in dividends, I could probably be able to live off that. Now, what I'd probably do is take my job at Home Depot <laughs> You know, if I won that one million to save from the lottery, which, of course, uh, um, very fortuitous circumstances would have to exist for such a thing to happen. And, um, for such a thing to happen, I would, um, Yeah, yeah. Infrastructure. Well, guess what? We're about to fix some of this issueage. Excuse me. But um. Worship me, the chaste Artemis, and my huntresses will strike down your foes. stuff going here so I don't have as much plague risk. Alright, let's go ahead here. Let's get some more food production up and running so I get, make sure, can make sure uh, post Tone. I'm going to do here. Under the hypothetical scenario of getting a um, million dollars to be able to um, um, have stuff, what I'd probably do is um, you know take advantage of that. Situation to, uh, you know, at least work probably for another year or three. That way, I can make sure I could um, build up uh, my um, my portfolio a little bit more, and to be able to further expand stuff. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. Thebes, Memphis, Tyre, Sidon, Thighs Marble, Sills Armor. Well, Sidon is one we'll have to do, so let's go ahead here and do Sidon. Gnosis by sculpture cells. And now I'm gonna need some wood, so um I'll also do uh Syracuse. Oh, 
is that. Carthage. Also set up a road for them and Lixus. Don't need them. Atlantis. Oh wait, does Lixus they sell fleece? So yeah, we'll need Lixus and Estonia. Atlantis, Gades. Double check those guys. Atlantis, Gades. And we'll have ga uh, Gades too. As well, I should say. guy there, put this guy there. I know, game. I bloody freaking know. Let's go ahead here. Set up several... Set up our fleece vendors. Go ahead here, tear one of those houses out and replace them with the fountain. This guy to empty and accept instead, accept instead all of it. Let's go ahead here, set up a, a lab, bunch of workshop. Uh, well, actually, let's see, uh, side on, move that side on trading post down here to where I want my marble. Let's go ahead down here and we'll set up our marble facilities. I know that's slightly bigger than what it needs to be, but uh, let's see here. Oh, perfect in as far as uh, length. Side on. facility there. This guy will hold nothing for now. Put that there. Put that there. I guess I don't mind living here. <laughs> it's better than a finger in the eye.
Pick up your side. I'm doing all the work. I'm doing my best. I'm so hungry. Well, so am I. But I'm not complaining. Thebes. Oh, we can, with them, we can get marble exported too, so. Department of Death. Have you ever seen more solid buildings? Archimedes would be proud. Another bibliotech right here. An observatory as well. Let's make sure. Oh. That would be part of the reason why we're not uh, getting stuff done. Go ahead here and uh, set up some stone circles in this area. Uh -huh. Whoa, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Excuse me again. Uh, we weren't able to get in that stuff. No, nope. Let's see here. Got right here. Was it Atlantis or Gnosis? All right, let's see here. Get the amount you want. Olive oil. Fruits. See how get. Sculpture. That's what I'm wanting to do.
this guy, and we'll set up another guy right here to accept uh, sculpture. And we have this guy and this guy, both except bronze. Hi, Atlas. Idiot infrastructure. There is a maintenance office literally right down the road. And let's go ahead here. We're going to open up since we have plenty of unemployed. Oops. That was a misclick. That sure was. Idiot! Infrastructure! What do you mean you can't access the labor pool? What the what? the heck is wrong? I don't know why that bridge suddenly decided to be all, well, wonky. I'll blame the flood. I'll blame that flood. How about that? Yes, Artemis, I know. Oh, speaking of Artemis, I got distracted by the, uh, that disaster there. And out of the way, traitors. All right, let's see here. Oh. Infrastructure. You're such a Freaking idiot! Bunch of idiots! You guys literally need a written invitation to uh, do your jobs? Let's go ahead here and uh, have this guy get wood. Buy some wood. Sell some sculpture.
Workers, workers everywhere and not a job to take. Well, if water carrying weren't a two-person job, I'd be out of work too. That, that'll decrease the amount of workers we don't got to worry about. Excuse me. No, I won't be able to get the thing built without some uh, some of these bad boys. This city is okay, but it's lacking a certain panache, a certain je ne sais quoi. In both form and function. I've heard that there's. In both form and function. Off I'll go to the sanctuary to display my refined craft. There we go again, guys. Off I'll go. Off I'll go. Off I'll. Off I'll. Off I'll go. Off I'll go. Off I'll go. Off I'll. Off I'll. Off I'll go to the sanctuary to display my refined craft. Like I said, to this day, I cannot remember how I came up with that particular little jingle. There are a lot of sedimentary folks in this city who could use a job. <laughs> sedimentary. <laughs> That's not a rock joke. I don't know what it is. What walks on four legs in the morning, two legs at noon, three legs at dusk, and screams in abject terror now? Oh wait, am I collecting taxes? I don't think I am. That would be, yeah, that's part of the reason why we're no doubt losing money. Well, we're not collecting all our taxes, I should say. The unemployed get so upset when I ask them to pay their taxes. <laughs> I wish they'd find jobs. 
Excuse me. I'll be laconic here. This city is mediocre at best. The unemployed get so upset when I ask them to pay their taxes. <laughs> I wish they'd find jobs. Yeah, at least I'm doing something to keep people employed. There we go. Expenses are now. Uh... Idiot infrastructure. At least that's why I'm willing to bet things will work in wonky. Get the museum back up and running. Just need some more wood. Now, of course, technically, I could not have to worry about Atalanta, but I generally prefer... Having to do stuff. Hi, Atlas. Finally, get need for employees. <laughs> See, I is in full effect. Not only are we having idiot uh, uh, maintenance guys, we're also having idiot uh, water bearers, too. It was a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> I hope Aeolus guides us home. those slabs of marble too so that's not going to be too much of a problem
I kind of forgot about the slabs of black marble we needed. Oh, we could always import that. Got to get this done. Back and forth, back and forth, I'm beginning to feel like Sisyphus! Okay, can we also build, uh... Ah! Lent. Which means we can, of course, cease importing meat. Uh, that was fun. Cease buying meat. If I do do that the pyrenosis right here, that might just uh, help me out. I don't think it'll help entirely, but it will hopefully help some. Hello, Atalanta! This city is as wonderful as a golden apple. There we go. Let's go ahead here. Yes. That's what I want to do is I want to have apples. Let's help me out. Let's go ahead here. We're going to order halting on the pyramids. this one. Excuse me.
Marble storage, so marble, there we go. Set up some more masonry shops. for Atlanta. I think I got one for Atlantis. Yep, there we go. Okay. calc. Thanks, Atlas. Also, the other reason why I had the thing is that they can literally go, the guys can literally go off road. Just a sec, guys. I'll be RP. Be RP. Gotta go use the little trees room again.
Yes, I know you're here. Part of me wishes um, <clears throat> I could uh, not have to worry about having just one uh, sanctuary. Except. Thanks, Atlas. Thrown out of my home. What did I do to deserve this? The Egyptians have already learned a lot from us. They are awed by our fantastic pyramids, and we have left a few Atlanteans behind to serve as advisors to them on their construction projects, as well as on other aspects of Atlantean life. In return for showing them how to build wondrous pyramids, the Egyptians have agreed to supply Atlantis with wheat at a reasonable price. Egypt is all we could have asked for. The Mediterranean is pleasant enough, but it's no Atlantis. Our efforts to civilize Egypt have gone quite well, and the Egyptians are slowly adopting our ways. The Phoenicians haven't caused any trouble since Carthage was taught a lesson, and trade is flourishing. But the Greeks, they have proven to be even more primitive than we had first thought. They have continued to rebuff our efforts to introduce them to Atlantean life. Don't they understand that adopting our ways will only make their lives easier? It's too bad about the Greeks, really. Not only are they primitive, they are dim-witted, too. Then there are those horrid centaurs. Thank Atlas that they have decided to leave us alone. Lyxis is doing quite well, and goods are flowing freely into and out of Atlantis. Still, there is a foreboding sense of danger ahead. Many of the traders that have arrived here lately have looked a little peaked, and some of them report that a plague is spreading around the east. The sickness has decimated the populations of many cities, and some cities are functioning only on their most basic levels, barely providing food to their residents. It certainly wouldn't be surprising that illness would break out, especially given the squalid conditions that some of the people around there live in. Well, that particular bridge will be crossed when we come to it. In the meantime, the needs of Lyxis must be addressed. We must continue to be prosperous and productive to serve the needs of Atlantis. All right. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Let's see here. <clears throat> excuse me. Artisans are needed. I'd love to help you with your construction project. That really took me by surprise how quickly uh, Atlas decided to show up with the um, thing there. Hades. There's wheat by fleece and olive oil. 
Gates. Dramas for weight. Greetings! You'll be thrilled when you see what I have to trade with you. I just saw a white cat stick his paw under my door. Just a second. Just looking back under my door, and uh, next thing I knew, uh, uh, I saw the three paws. So, come here, white cat. Come here, you little kitty. Hi. Hi. Are you going to be a uh, happy kitty? Are we going to get to hear white cat jet engine? Huh? Huh? Or are you just going to go sniffing around at things, huh? <laughs> He's here standing on my desk right in front of my mouse. Hi. What you looking for? What you looking for? You silly little kitty. You silly little kitty. You gonna be happy, cat? We're gonna get to have some white cat jet engine? You gonna be jet engine, kitty? You're just standing here, guys, I swear. That's all he's doing. Over right here, looking at stuff, occasionally sniffing at things. Come on down. I actually settled it. Oh my god. He just bumped my mouse. Are you in attention needer mode? Give me them squishes on the side of my neck. Oh, he's, he's flicking his uh, rear paw there. There he was. You just love all the attention. Come on. 
believe it or not, white cat does respond to commands. You're halfway down onto my tree lap. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now, if I can only make him turn into Jet Engine Cat. White cat. too hard it feels like they're like kind of, yeah. of course it's getting into summertime for us here in the states so uh i don't have a little bit of that Thanks, Atlas. White cat decided he wanted that. So what did I do? Yes. I don't think the white cat can make up his mind, guys. But then again, he's a cat. Just a second, he wants out. BRB! Now, White Cat, even for the occasional dum dum maneuver he does which at times seems more frequent than it should be. Um, uh, White Cat is very smart. The infrastructure. But, um... Silly Atlas. Great things are in store for you, little sheep. <gasps> Trust me. Oh. Yeah, Poseidon, I understand. We got some. Oh, and of course, we just had. Sure. 
capture. Atlantis, Carthage, Nossus. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I put up that guy there. This city is superb. I hope I live as long as Nestor to enjoy it. And I hope you live as long as Nestor to rule it. The plague was much worse than feared, and it decimated many Mediterranean cities. Thank Poseidon, Lyxis escaped any serious harm, as did our homeland on Atlantis. Trade with the East is slowly being re-established, but goods from the East are much harder to come by. Our Eastern trade partners claim that the plague wiped out a large portion of their population, and that they just can't produce as much as they used to. If only these people were more quick to learn, they would be masters of Atlantean efficiency and wouldn't be having these problems. Suspiciously, the Greeks seem to have escaped this plague completely unharmed. They threw themselves upon the mercy of Apollo, and that nursemaid of a god apparently took pity on them. Or perhaps the Greeks escaped the plague through pure dumb luck. That would be typical of them. Still, it will only be a matter of time before we Atlanteans, with our superior culture, whip the Greeks into shape. They cannot resist our beneficial ways forever. As we re-establish trade with cities in the Mediterranean, we have taken special care to teach the people better hygiene practice. It is, after all, the Atlantean thing to do. They are bound to be extremely grateful and increase the flow of goods as much as is practicable. It is refreshing to see that so many of the people in the Mediterranean have so quickly adopted the spirit of Atlantean law. Then there are the Greeks. These stubborn people will just not listen to reason. Or perhaps they just don't understand reason. No one has ever resisted us before, and we are at a loss to understand why the Greeks are resisting us now. Ah well. Thankfully, the centaurs are leaving us alone. They are far too unpleasant to gaze upon. And if the Greeks can't understand the Atlantean way, then the half-animal centaurs will be completely confused by us. They are not worth our effort. Regardless, the Mediterranean project is a smashing success, and the majority of the area is under our influence. We are masters of the Mediterranean Sea. All right. So, so we're at a good stopping point. So uh, next week, next episode, we will be, of course, be doing uh, Atlantis Reborn. Um. Hard times have fallen on the land, his food and goods are hard to come by, and its people have struggled to survive. Adventures is difficult. It consists of six parent colony episodes, six parent city episodes, and two colonies. So we will, of course, <coughs> excuse me, 
be um, doing that next time. So let's go ahead here. Let's go on a raid party, shall we? So I um, hope you'll join me for this raid. So let me see who is who is live. Who is live? Who is live? Who is live? Hopefully we could go say hi to somebody I haven't said hi to in a while. Um. Ooh, hello. I think I see somebody. So, anywho, if uh, you're watching here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash George, please remember to go ahead and leave a like. I mean, hit that follow button. <laughs> um, da -da -da -da. Uh, if you're watching over on the YouTube, at youtube.com slash George Game, please remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon for notifications. It really does help. Make sure to give a follow also. Over on the Twitters at twitter.com slash osageorange01. So, as soon as this silly advert uh, gets there. There we go. There we go. We found for us our raid target. We're going to be raiding Pikachu Lita. Over at twitch.tv slash Pikachu Leader. So go and select the tree grove has arrived to bring you shade and water. That is our standard raid call. Please wait for me to post first. I want a nice strong raid behind me. So hope to catch you guys uh, later today, Sunday, for another episode of Titan Quest The Loot Grind. On Monday and uh, Thursday are going to be our bookmarker episodes of uh, Let's Play Minecraft series two is with the approach of uh minecraft 119 vanilla 119 uh want to wrap that up um and of course so hopefully we'll be able to start a new minecraft series once uh minecraft comes around again hopefully 119 will be released by then and of course next sunday saturday did did yeah as soon as i can speak right uh we will we will, of course, be um, here back in Zeus Poseidon in City Building Saturday. So let's go ahead here. Let's get to this raid party started. As appreciates everybody who has come out. And I hope to catch you all in the next episode. Ta-ta for now.